After putting in some major study sessions and passing its tests in 2019's Fire Emblem Three Houses, Fire Emblem Engage makes a surprising decision to take a purposeful step away from that focus on time management and teaching. Almost time. Many base activities and socializing are still here, but Engage makes a smart move to adjust its sights back towards the roots of the series by putting engaging tactical combat first and foremost. Stand in my way. There's a reverence for Fire Emblem's past that is clear in every aspect of it, including the spirits of legendary heroes from previous games that power up your team, bringing in strategic depth and visual flair every time they're unleashed. Whatever it its classic good vs. evil story may not reach the same heights of its predecessor, but the Divine Dragon's adventure still stands tall among its peers, both on its own merits and as a wonderful tribute to Fire Emblem's history. Emblem? When Fire Emblem Engage first introduced the idea that 12 rings house the spirits of protagonists from Fire Emblem's past, I'll admit, I was a bit skeptical. These legends will advise you, spar with you, and become your battle companions as you try to collect every emblem ring and defeat the big bad fell dragon who wants to corrupt them. While it's fun to see familiar faces, there were also plenty I didn't recognize. This had me worried about how much of the backstory I was going to miss out on, given that some of these characters have never had their adventures officially translated outside Japan. How can I be more like you? And yet, over the course of my 60 plus hour adventure, I found my worries to be unfounded. Fire Emblem Engage manages to celebrate its long history of compelling characters without making you feel left out if you never played through their stories firsthand. Your own character, Alir, has a story that is still the driving force behind your journey in Engage, and while the Emblem heroes play an important role, it's one that does its best to stay within the context of your current adventure. Everyone, engage with emblems! Yes, I may have geeked out a bit when Ike from Path of Radiance joined my team, but even emblems like Sigurd or Leaf are fun to fight alongside despite me knowing next to nothing about them, thanks to the powers they granted my team in combat. The true talents of these emblem rings shine when taken into battle. Just having one equipped provides a host of bonuses and skills, and culminates in the ability to engage their true power for a short period. Emblem engage. The resulting fusions between your characters and the legendary heroes make them unmissable standouts on the battlefield. With these transformations granting me powerful unique weapons and special engage skills, it became a huge game changer for how I approached each mission. A good wind. In addition to the larger changes emblems introduce, Fire Emblem Engage has refined almost every aspect of its turn-based battles in smaller ways too. Enhanced visuals, UI improvements, and subtle new spins have been introduced to classic combat mechanics. The celebrated weapon triangle has made its triumphant return with a new break mechanic to temporarily disarm opponents for the rest of the turn, while smashing enemies with heavy weapons can physically push them out of defensive tiles. My favorite new battlefield addition by far is the massive overhaul to the healer class. Thank you. Historically, they've always been the weakest link, but no longer. The ability to use martial arts to break the weapons of archers, mages, and thieves gives them much more of a bite, and they can also use unique guarding abilities to protect allies from harm, so long as their health bar is full up. What is that? In the back there? Is that... a throne? Where Fire Emblem Three Houses thrust you into a dramatic conflict between rival nations and former friends, Fire Emblem Engage dials things back a bit, for better and for worse. Its story is a classic tale of ancient evils reawakening, amnesiac protagonists, and various nations uniting under a common banner for good. I'll admit, I wasn't quite sold on Alir and their aquafresh toothpaste hair design, but finally having a fully voiced Fire Emblem protagonist helped me get over that fairly fast. It helps solve many of Engage's plot points, from the growing bonds between Alir and their friends, to some insidious plans enacted by the Fell Dragon and his minions. Yeah, not gonna happen. Most chapters usually end with defeating a boss, but a reliance on certain bosses left me feeling a bit conflicted. The Four Hounds are the main henchmen of the Big Bad, and you'll be seeing a lot of them. They all have different reasons for being on Team Evil, and even made for some challenging opponents. <laughs> Yet I can't count the number of times I've had to fight these lackeys, only to have them swear revenge and run away. Again. And again. My orders do not involve dying. And my army just let them saunter off. I don't even think they were bad characters. I just really wish Engage had at least tried to offer a passable excuse for why I let them get away so many times. There are still plenty of challenging missions and encounters, and some of my favorites came from Paralog side missions that serve as Emblem Hero Trials, and include some of the best homages to Fire Emblem's history. I still believe you won't feel left out if you haven't experienced the stories of past Fire Emblems, but those who have will be treated to some wonderfully adapted pivotal moments in time. Missions like these, coupled with the care that went into creating skills and abilities for each Emblem Ring, have the same reverent tone as when Nintendo expertly adapts fighters into the Super Smash Bros. series. Even the music for these side missions are uniquely arranged medleys from previous soundtracks featuring some of my favorite Fire Emblem tunes. 
Fire Emblem engages kept the concept of having a large, explorable hub base like in Three Houses, but is wisely dialed back from the scope of a giant monastery. Well, hey there! The Somniel instead focuses on both managing your team and keeping up with fun activities and bonding, but in ways that aren't as drawn out and time consuming. Sadly, tea time did not make the cut. Yummy. All the activities here are completely optional. Some are very, very optional. Morning time! Here's the sunshine! The Somniel is also where you can manage the emblem rings you've collected, and there's a surprising amount to do with them. Perhaps even too much. Spending points to inherit skills from different rings encourages lots of customization and passing rings around so everyone can make use of them, though the sheer number of skills and point values can sometimes become a bit of a headache. Perhaps the most surprising addition to the Somniel is a combat tower that lets you take on multiplayer challenges, and its asynchronous format might be the most well-realized multiplayer that Fire Emblem can have. One mode allows you to fully customize one half of a map to either challenge another player's computer-controlled team on their half of the map, or have your AI team defend against other opponents with the base you've built. There's a lot of fun variety of defenses to build, even if they end up looking like a bit of a mishmash. The second mode is a clever attempt at Fire Emblem co-op, Relay Trials. One player picks a small group of units to go up against a horde of enemies, but only has two turns to move their team before their time is up, and another player picks up where they left off, potentially adding a few reinforcements of their own. I really love the idea of having to adapt to someone else's strategy mid-battle, including deciding on whether to engage your emblem rings, or save for the next player. A bit of warning though, it seems possible to join and find yourself over or under leveled compared to the player who started the trial, and you may even see characters that you haven't yet encountered on the team, which may spoil you to later reveals. Our bonds give me strength. It's no small feat that Fire Emblem Engage is able to tell a simple but fun story that celebrates the vast history of its series in a way that doesn't rely on prior knowledge of its stories. Building the perfect team of diverse characters and pairing them with emblem ranks of past heroes allows for tons of customization and strategy, and blasting through the enemy ranks with special powers is immensely satisfying. Both its main and side missions provide a good deal of challenge, and clever twists and obstacles offset a reliance on overly familiar mission objectives. Couple all of that with a suite of quality of life improvements that immediately feel vital, and Fire Emblem Engage proves itself worthy enough to be counted alongside the legacy that it honors so well. <laughs> be sure to also check out our review of the equally strategic Marvel Midnight Suns, as well as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. For everything else, stick with IGN. Now, it's time to engage. <laughs>